Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Amber Living Vlog. This is Beyond Film School, and I'm Amber, and today we're talking about networking. I bring to you your top tips for networking in the film industry. So I'm back here with my dog in the park, and I feel like this is a really good spot for me to do videos, apparently. <laughs> um, I just find them doing them outside is just like way more fun than doing them in my apartment. So this is what you get, people. This is what you get. My first tip, number one, is you gotta talk to people and not talk at people. And I say talk to people in general, meaning anybody friends, family, maybe you work at a cafe and you talk, you have regular customers that you talk to, talk to them, you know, they'll want to know about your life. I mean, if, if they're regulars, they're going to want to know about your life. So talk to people. And I'm talking like anybody in general, because people always want to know if they, you know, are interested in you, they're going to want to know what you're up to, want to know what you aspire to, what you want to do. And usually when you work at a restaurant or a cafe or something like that, there is a possibility that you work in the arts. So they'll want to know like, hey, what else are you doing with your life? So that is your opportunity to talk about, hey, I work in the film industry. I'm actually working towards being a screenwriter. I'm actually working towards being an actor. I'm working towards being a director, being a camera person, whatever. Talk about your goals. And sometimes what happens is they say, oh my goodness, I know a friend of mine, he works or she works for this production company. Maybe I can hook you guys up. And that's how things happen. Just talk to people. And I mean, generally, in a general sense, talking about your goals and what you want to do. For just talking to people is really good for people just starting out. Um, and I think it's just good for everybody throughout their career because sometimes when you have those dry spells in the winter or maybe you're not working for a couple of weeks and if you're just talking to people, talk to people on set, talk to people, you know, just anywhere, anywhere. I'm really, I honestly do mean anywhere. Talk to people anywhere. Um, you'll find work in the most random places. So it's good for people just starting out. It's good for people in any stage in their career, like talking to people. Two. So number two is is a little bit different because I've seen producers do this uh, and I mean th this is a really really good way to do it it's volunteer for film festivals and this is super useful if you're a producer or you're you're your own filmmaker and you're making your own short films own feature films and you are networking in the film festival circuit it's really really good because one if you volunteer for film festivals you'll find out about how the film festival operates you'll talk to people who run those film festivals and sometimes if you build a really really good relationship they'll like waive a fee for you or they'll introduce you to a friend of theirs and then they say hey my a friend of mine runs this film festival so you know film festivals are a really good way if you volunteer or um, you know just work for them on the temp uh, basis because sometimes they'll take a they'll take you know uh, seasonal work basically when they're do like Montclair Film Festival, like they'll help hire people for a couple weeks. Uh, so those are really, really good opportunities. Like film festivals, seriously look into them, especially the big ones too. They're always looking for volunteers. So if you have the time, definitely volunteer. And when you're there, you talk to people. Number three, what I got for number three is if you are on set, say you're doing a freebie, or maybe you're not, but you're on set you make sure that you make a good reputation for yourself. Do your job as best as you can, pay attention, stay off your phone, make sure you're alert and you're doing your job really, really well so they remember you. You're basically building your reputation in a really good way so they remember you and they're gonna hire you on their next set. And this goes for you know, camera operators, it goes for DPs, it goes for directors, it goes for ADs. I mean, I, for, from one short film I shot, I got like three more jobs. One little job, even if it's a, even if it's a freebie, it's, it's like super valuable to just make sure you're just on, on point, just on your A game, making sure that you're just doing your best because so many other jobs come from it. What I got for number four, what I got for number four is help that friend that needs help on their short film like maybe they can't afford to pay anybody they can't they don't have the money so they're just making you know passion project or maybe they're just starting out and it probably you know if it's someone's first short film there's no guarantee that it's going to be really good right 
but you're helping that person and I'm telling you people who help on those types of projects that person will remember who helped them and who didn't and mostly who did right and if you help them they'll always say you know what I owe you one or you know let me refer you to someone I know or you know it always ha and I'm not saying do it just because you're gonna get a favor but just do it to help someone out because you never know for one you know you don't know who you're gonna meet on set you don't know who's gonna be there you never know and you just never know who you're gonna meet at those things you know you just I say always help out because it could come back to you in just in, in strides, right? It could just come back to you times a hundred and you just never know. Number five is join those filmmaking Facebook groups. Now there's NYC filmmakers, there's local zero heroes, there's um, female filmmakers in NYC, there's, and there's like uh, New Jersey filmmakers. There's, if there's a, a small pocket community where people are making films, there's a Facebook group for it. Join those groups, be active, you know, encourage people, give advice if you know anything that someone, you know, if someone's asking for advice and you know like a whole lot of information on that, on that topic, give advice if you can, you know? So, because you're gonna make your presence known, people are gonna begin to know your face and just make sure it's a positive one. Let's not criticize or be negative. You know, no one likes that. You don't want to make a negative reputation for yourself. No one want. You don't want to be known as a, that bitch or that asshole. Those groups is that they offer jobs and gigs. They always post. You know, I need a PA for background for such and such days for this day rate, and I need a DP for this. I need a sound person. They post jobs on those. So if maybe you don't want to have you know discussions or you don't want to give advice just know that they do post jobs producers and you know ad's and uh, key pas hire on those facebook groups so just know that so that the you know it's direct link to gigs for number six number six is in your community maybe you're not in new york city maybe you're not in i mean i'll even say buffalo because buffalo has a pretty good film community and maybe, you know, you're in like Ithaca, New York, or I don't know, some random place in like Kentucky or something. And I always get, I've gotten messages where it's like, I don't have a real, I don't have a film community. No one really knows, blah, 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 blah. You know what? Get your friends. Say you have a script. You have a, a rinky ding camera. Make a movie. Just, you know, just start building a community. Do it yourself. Just do it yourself. I say that if you don't have, you know, a, a meetup, do a meetup group, and that's not that's also another another place where you can, you know, network with people. It's like join those meetup groups. There's 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 all kinds happening in all kinds of places. So build your own community. Maybe you want to do the 48 hour film challenge. Maybe you want to do the 72 hour. And there's like a 24 hour film challenge. There's so many different challenges that you could join that links you to the community where you can network and make connections. So I encourage you to join those communities or start your own. Uh, for number seven is more a technique talk on networking. Now, I know number one was talking to people, but the thing is when you're actually at a networking event, you know, so number seven is gonna be linked in going to actual networking events. I have a, a page on Beyond Film School and I, I update where events are happening. Now, this could be through a meetup group. This could be through Facebook groups I, I know and find and some maybe some um, rental houses for camera people. Rental houses have open houses where you can just go look at some equipment, play with cameras, get to know other people. Go to those events. Actually go to these networking events. And when you're at the events, actually have a conversation because I have found that I've been to a couple networking events in the film industry and there are some people who will just walk around and just hand their business card to people. And I and I swear to God, this is like the number one way for your business card and your information to land straight on the floor or straight in the garbage. You don't want to be that person that just goes around and just piss people off. I've had a situation where I was talking to someone and someone came up, someone else came up, handed their business card to me and the other person I was talking to and we both looked at each other and was like, what the is this like you don't do that at a networking event it was really annoying and what do we do we just tossed his business card when you're at these networking events try to be as open as possible 
don't talk at people, actually try to have a conversation. And it usually starts with, you know, what do you do in the industry? Oh, I'm an AD. And then they'll say, oh, I'm, a, I'm, I'm an actor or something, you know? You never know. But the thing is, is, don't underestimate the power of actors because there are so many actors out there that are starting, not even starting, but they're producers as well and they're directors as well. So I would say if you know actors, that's, that's a really good link to have because they're doing lots of different stuff. Networking events. Don't talk at people. Talk to people. Have a normal conversation, you know? Just have a normal conversation. Go to the networking events. Even though I'm telling you, I don't like going to them either because I'm hella awkward and I'm like, I don't know anybody and this is really weird. But I go to them when I know that, you know, it's kind of time for me to expand my circle. Um, these are really good for people just starting out, especially if you're just starting out as a PA. You just, you know, you, people need PAs. People need them. So if you're if you're there, I'm a PA, don't, and what I will say is this, don't say, oh, I'm just a PA. So many people in this industry have started as PAs. Do not underestimate that. You are, you are not just a PA. You, PAs are pretty much the foundation of filmmaking because PAs, so much gets put on their back and they do so much work for the film industry. So do not, I hate when people say, oh, I'm just a PA. And I have been guilty of this myself. I have done this. I have said, oh, I'm just a PA when I was first starting out or, or I'm just a camera PA or, or I'm just an AC. You know, every position in film matters. When you're at net networking events, have confidence. Talk about what you want to do. Talk about what you are doing and just have a normal conversation. And I have gotten gigs from networking events. Just try to be your best self. Be open. Be nice. And don't be fake because, man, people see right through that shit. Just try not to be a fake person. Number eight is make sure you have your information with you. And this is your business cards. And for actors, sometimes this is having your headshot on you with your resume right on the back because that's the way you guys should have your resume and headshot is with, you know, headshot on the front, resume on the back for actors. That's just one quick tip for actors. Uh, but if you are in production, you just need to have your business card on you. And and like I said in the, um, a moment ago where, you know, you just don't hand your business card to just anybody random uh, or throw it in people's faces. When you're having a conversation and, and it you, you know that it's working out and you're like, oh my goodness, this is a connection that I really, really want. You can ask for their information and then they're going to ask for your information. And that's when you hand a business card. <laughs> that is your opening. <laughs> Other than that, you know... You can, I mean, you could say, hey, take my card in case you need a PA or something. I mean, but it has, to, it has to be a genuine, like, connection. I just hate when you're just like, oh, take my business card. Because, yeah, really, it's going to go straight in the garbage. So make sure you have your business cards on you because they are, you just, you're going to need them. Because otherwise, people are like, oh, what's your number? Putting in my, it's kind of, you know, business card is the fastest way to do it. And, you know, when people are networking, people are trying to meet a lot of other people. It's not just you and that person talking for three hours. When you are on set and when when the set wraps, when, the, when you're wrapped for the day, a lot of people, maybe it's gonna be a Friday, maybe it's gonna be a Thursday night, whatever. It might be a Monday night. The crew is gonna talk about going out for drinks, going to a bar, go. I'm telling you that so many things happen when the crew goes out for drinks and I'm not saying, hey, you have to become an alcoholic, maybe you don't drink, whatever, that's fine. I'm saying just go. Go with them, whatever the case may be, wherever bar they're going, make sure you go. And sometimes you can't, I understand it, but try to make an effort to connect with your crew members. You're going to get jobs this way. Trust me on this one. I'm not saying you have to drink, you don't have to just go have some goddamn seltzer water or in lime and then it looks like a drink and there you have it just say you have a vodka soda no one has to know that you're drinking seltzer water you gotta learn these tricks man going out and having a drink after wrap that's like the i would say that should probably be like number one the number one place where you're gonna get more jobs because the more they know about you the more you know they like you or dislike you could go either way but if they like you they're gonna get to know you more they'll like you and they're wanna get to get you more gigs that's how it works if they get to know you better they'll want to know what you want to work towards and I've seen this happen so many times it's like oh I'm a PA now but I want to be a grip oh you know what I have a show next week and we could use some extra help so let me just get you onto the show and that's how they get into the friggin 
like the grip union, like holy shit, it happens. I've seen this happen so many times. If you're a PA trying to get into camera, you want to be a camera PA, you got to talk to the camera folks. And what better time is to do it at like a wrap drink session. Like right after we wrap, you have drinks. Talk to some camera peeps. Like, hey, I didn't get a chance to, you know, talk to you on set. I thought like I could talk to you about how you became a camera person. Get them to talk about themselves. Then talk about what you want to do. It's like people love talking about themselves. Number one thing is is get people to talk about how they got where they were. That's a really good way for you to start to talk about what you want to get into. Trust me. Go out to get drinks with the crew if they go. Say you did a short film, right? You did a short film and now they're having a screening a couple months after. Or, you know, you did a feature film and you liked the crew a lot. Go to the screening. If you are invited to the screening, go to the screening because this is a way to reconnect with people you liked um, and it's really honestly to put your face out there because now the term out of sight, out of mind is totally true for the film industry. If you're not active in, you know, talking to people, active in going to these, like, you know, you're not going to the bar or if you're not going to the screenings or, you know, you're not putting your face out there, you're out of sight, therefore people aren't going to remember you. So what I'm going to tell you is go to the screenings, go to film festivals when they have them. When you go to screenings and and the film festival screenings and stuff like that, it's a way to support the director and a way to support, you know, the top people and the creative that kind of spearheaded and, and kind of was the force behind that film. So it's a way to support them because you know, they need the numbers. So it's really good to have a crowd. So for me, like a good example is uh, a one director. I love working for her. I'm her AD and anything that she does, I'm always like, I'll go because I want to support her. Um, and it's not even like I want a favor or I want her to hire me, but it's like, I appreciate the types of movies she makes and I want to make sure that I'm there to support her. And that's important. So throw your support with the people you like. And I, I feel like Going to screenings is a really good way to do that. Get your face out there, get your name out there, people will remember you, and that's the the big thing about networking is that you've got to be remembered as something good, hopefully. (laughs) And when you're remembered, people will remember you when gigs pop up that say, you know what, I need an AD. Yo, let's see what Amber's up to. This is why networking is really important, and this is why connections are really, really important, because this is how, I mean, the last time I actually applied to a, a a gig has been a very, I can't even think about the amount of months it's been. So I did a short film in March and it was a six day shoot. And from that job, after we wrapped, I got, let's see, forwarded to one producer that was doing a reshoot. I didn't get hired for that because they, they went with a more experienced AD, which I can't fault them. That's totally fine with me. But what the producer liked me a lot not even working with me yet, but she liked me through interviewing and what she knew about me because someone recommended me from that six day shoot, right? So that producer that didn't hire me passed my name along to another feature. (laughs) So that producer of that feature, me and her met up, we interviewed, it was great, but I didn't go with that job because they changed the dates. So I was already, I'm already on a feature for July and she moved her dates to July. So I wasn't able to get that job. But what I'm saying is that from that six age shoot, I was recommended by one person and then that other person recommended me to someone else. So my name gets passed along a lot, which is really, really great for me. And that's just one connection I made on uh, the one short film I did in March. Now, okay, here's another example. Uh, So the stunt coordinator from that same shoot is actually a producer as well. So he says to me, are you available for this project? And I'm like, yes. And I ended up doing a proof of concept and two commercials. So I got recommended like three or four, five times from one short film. I mean, I'm telling you, if you're, if you're talking to people and you're doing your job good, People are going to remember you and they're going to give you gigs when they can. So just think about that. Just think about the connections you're going to make and it just keeps going. And I say this in how I broke into the film industry video that I did. I made one connection in the union world. And from that one connection, I've gotten so many PA jobs and so many different, you know, recommendations and everything. Um, 
I needed that one connection to get the ball rolling. And from that one person is basically how I have gotten my career. It takes one good contact, people. I'm telling you, this is the importance of networking. I think I don't have anything else. I don't have any other tips I can think of right now. But I, if I do have any more tips, I will put them on my networking tips and events page on beyondfilmschool.com. It is there. I always update events. Um, I put stuff for you know camera peeps, screenwriting, production, actors, all types of stuff. Um, a lot of them are free. So just remember that networking is very important and if you think you're having a dry spell and you think you're not getting enough gigs go to a networking event and you never know what's gonna happen I feel like everyone has a really good story about networking and that one connection that made everything happen I love hearing those stories so please share your stories about that one contact that just made everything happen I love hearing those stories so please share them below in the comment section if you have any questions comments or concerns Email me, comment below if you want to know anything. I will try my damnedest to figure it out for you if you are, if it's something that you're like, I don't know what this is. Um, any questions or any topics you want me to cover. I don't know what I'm going to cover next time. I have no idea. So, uh, you know, throw me an idea. <laughs> Today I'm going on my podcast test. So podcast is coming soon. Uh, go to two podcasts. You actually can go to go to two podcast.com and you can see the coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> the coming soon page um, I have events happening and networking events happening and I will post them on my Facebook page so you're updated on when they're happening uh, you know I, I I love movie memes so they're gonna be on my Facebook page or anything that I'm up to is pretty much gonna be on my Facebook page uh, sometimes I'll do like small videos all that jazz so if you want to be updated with what I'm doing join my follow me on Facebook and uh, and on my Instagram beyond film school still time there is still time to apply for the PA training course and mentorship if you have questions feel free to email me I'm still working on my um, frequently asked questions page on beyond film school so if you're wondering the difference between just the course and the mentorships feel free to shoot me an email I'll be happy to explain it so for everyone out there who needs to email me my email is beyondfilmschool at gmail.com super easy beyondfilmschool at gmail.com super super easy email I mean I have explained it in previous videos but if you are new to my videos welcome to the Amber Living blog and Beyond Film School. <laughs> I will be happy to answer any of the questions that you guys have. And I think that is it for now. I think the wind is blowing way too much and I don't know how audio is going to turn out on this video, but that is it for now. I shall see you guys next time.